everyone, Cassandra Brooks here. I'm pet sitting for one of my friends, so don't mind the wiggly chihuahua on my lap. Anyways, I've been reading the comments lately on a lot of our videos, and quite a few of you have been asking about my diet secrets. It's not really a secret, I just try to eat as healthy as I can, so I thought in this video I would just tell you some of my favorite items that I like to eat throughout the day, um, and just walk through you know, a whole day what I eat. So, um, we'll start off with breakfast, because that's the most important meal of the day, and I love breakfast, I really do. So usually for breakfast, I'll have, a lot of times, um, oatmeal, and I like to get the low sugar um, kind that you can buy at the store. So low sugar oatmeal, and I'll have, you know, I'll cut up a banana and put it in there. And I also have a juicer machine at home. Now I don't juice every day, because it kind of takes a lot of time, and the cleanup is annoying. So I juice maybe like, three times a week, um, but I just use, I put fresh fruits and veggies in there. I love to put carrots in there. It's really healthy and it tastes great. So I'll have either fresh juice or orange juice with my breakfast also. Um, on the weekends, sometimes I like Denny's. I know you think Denny's, but really what how I like to eat is I like to eat the foods that I like, but you know, adapt them to make them healthier. So, you know, if I go to Denny's, I'll get the healthier options, like the whole wheat pancakes, and I'll get egg whites instead of, you know, normal eggs, and, you know, kind of try to stay away from bacon. You can try the turkey bacon, but I don't think it tastes that good, and it's, the calories aren't even that much less than the normal bacon. So I usually just get fruit. Um, I love tomato wedges with the egg whites. It tastes really good. So that's pretty much, you know, the options that I have for breakfast. Or um, also if I'm in a rush, I'll have a bowl of Special K red berries with non-fat milk. That's yummy. And, you know, always lots of fruits and veggies I have throughout the whole entire day. Um, now let's go on to, well I would say let's go on to lunch, but I can't eat like that. I cannot just have three meals a day. I have to have snacks all the time. It's like every couple of hours I'm hungry. I always joke, I say I'm like a grazer, like a cow. I'm just always eating. But a lot of small meals, um, it makes your metabolism keep working. So it keeps your metabolism up and you know, it's better for you. So I have a snack in between lunch and that's usually like a yogurt, it's probably my favorite snack to have, you know, after breakfast. So I get the low fat yogurt from Low, Pay, low Play, Yo Play. <laughs> it's, I think it's 100 calories and they're delicious. They have all these different flavors you can get and I mean, there's something for everybody. So great, I love them. Or sometimes I'll have apple slices, um, you know, just take an apple and cut it up and um, that's really good. So that's my snack in between lunch and then for lunch, you know, it's really hard sometimes, especially if you're really busy, it's hard to eat healthy, you know? But if you plan things out, it makes it a lot easier. So I like to, a lot of times, if I'm making a dinner, I'll make a little bit extra so that I have more to take with me to lunch, to work, you know, the next day or something. So for lunch, I usually like to have some type of meat, um, like grilled chicken, or I love fish, that's what I eat the most of. Um, a lot of times I don't eat meat because that's the only type of meat I like really is chicken and fish. Um, I like turkey sometimes too. So I'll have, you know, soy products. Soy is really good. Like um, they have all kinds of different options like chicken, um, soy that tastes like chicken and even looks like chicken. So you can get different options. Um, when I'm really in a rush, I'll just grab a Lean Cuisine, and I know that those are loaded in sodium, and a lot of people say stay away from those, but you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. If you're really hungry, that you can find some that are low in calories and low in fat content, so that helps you out, you know, helps you get through the day. Or also, Subway is a great option. I love going to Subway for lunch if I forgot to pack a lunch. So I'll go to Subway, and I get the turkey um, on wheat. Now here's where a lot of people, I think, go wrong, is the $5 foot long, you know, why not get a foot long? Well, because you're gonna eat the whole thing probably so I always just get the six inch and I don't get the combo um, actually sometimes what I do is I get the kids meal it's like four or five inches a little bit smaller than the six inch and you can get apple slices and a low-fat milk with it or a juice box so I usually get the the kids meal or a six inch on wheat and you know what I opt out of the cheese I don't get the cheese because that's at least 50 more calories you're adding on there and I can't really taste the cheese on my sandwich anyways I just load it up with veggies and I put mustard on there and then the vinegar and pepper. I don't add salt to any of my meals. Um, I think, you know, there's a lot of salt already in products that you're gonna eat, so I don't add salt to anything. Another good tip or thing I would like to tell you is 
A lot of people think when you eat organic that you're eating healthy. And as I, you know, I buy a lot of organic products, you still have to look at the nutrition label because just because it says organic doesn't mean it's healthy. I mean, they have organic things that are loaded in fat and sugar and, you know, so definitely read the nutrition facts on the back. Now for dinner, I really like, this is a great recipe that you can make. It's called spaghetti squash. And basically you just find it in your vegetable, your produce um, department at your grocery store. And it's a squash, it's about this big, um, you know, kind of shaped like a football almost, not as pointy on the outside. Um, and you just take that and you cut it in half and you're gonna clean out the seeds in the middle. And then you stick it on a tray with um, like a little bit of water underneath it because it's gonna steam the squash. And you put the squash on upside down. Make sure you poke a couple holes in the top to like let it vent a little bit. And then you cook that at 450 degrees for about 45 minutes, maybe a little bit more depending on how tender you wanna be want it to be and then you just mix that with some you know low calorie um, spaghetti sauce and I like to add the um, soy like taco meat it adds um, it, you know taste like ground beef in your um, spaghetti so it's really delicious and the spaghetti squash is a great alternative to eating actual spaghetti and I actually like the texture a lot better it's a little bit crunchier but when it comes out of the oven you just take a fork and go like that to the inside of the squash and it just falls out like noodles it's delicious and it's so awesome low in calories and it's a you know it's a vegetable I love it so I'll have that and then um, something I heard on TV one time just passing by um, is by a nutritionist, I think they said. Now, I'm not a nutritionist at all, so don't take my words, you know, for a matter of fact, everything. This is just what I do, this is what I like, and this is what I do to keep myself in shape. So the person, the nutritionist said, throw out everything that's white. And so I actually kind of did that. I don't eat any more white bread, and I used to love white bread. Like, I hated wheat bread when I was younger. I would not eat it, and I would peel the crust off. I just wanted the middle of the white bread. I loved it. But now, like, you know, that's not very fulfilling. Those are pretty much empty calories. So now all the bread that I eat is wheat. All the rice that I have is, like, brown, whole grain, you know, wheat pasta. So really try to stay away from the white products. Um, that's a good tip. Also, I love dessert. So a dessert that I love having right now, um, it's called a skinny cow. It's an ice cream sandwich. And I'll have maybe a couple of those a week, but they're delicious. They're about this big. So sometimes I cut them in half if I'm not that hungry, but I still have a sweet tooth. Or even those Yoplait yogurts, they're so sweet. They taste like dessert. So I'll have one of those for dessert sometimes. And remember, that's just like something that I can't stress more is someone's hungry. <laughs> Lots of fruits and vegetables. You'll really notice the difference and they fill you up and they taste good and they're good for you. Um, I also noticed when I started eating better that my skin was um, doing a lot better because I had really sensitive skin. Um, so that's great. What else? I think that's pretty much it. I hope that answered your question. I feel like I just rambled, but I mean, that's kind of what I eat throughout the day. So I hope that I answered your question correctly and I hope that that helps you out and um, really invest in a juicer. Those are awesome. Um, what else? I think that's pretty much it. So just stay as active as you can and eat as good as you can. <laughs> and if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. I got some great recipes I can share with you. Um, lots of low calorie options, but also, you know, sometimes the calories are fine. You're gonna notice that sometimes the more healthier foods, the foods that have more fiber and stuff like that in them, um, they have more calories because they have more nutrition in them. So don't always just look at the calories and not get something because that it has a little more calories. You wanna make sure that you're getting the good nutritional values that you need. Um, yeah. Okay, so that was pretty much it, and someone's hungry. I think I'm gonna go feed you. Um, yeah, and probably don't ask me to pet sit because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll see you around, and feel free to ask me any questions. Um, yeah, have a great weekend.